If your home is equipped with an areaway with a drain at the bottom leading to your basement, I'm going to show you a quick tip that can prevent your basement from flooding. During my years in the water damage restoration business, one of the most common ways that basements were flooded was by the areaway drain getting covered with just a few leaves and then a heavy rainstorm would fill the areaway and the water would spill into the basement. Keeping the leaves out of the areaway is your best bet to prevent this from happening, but that's not always possible. In the fall, you can start the week out with a clean drain and a few windy days and a heavy rainstorm can cover the drain very quickly. It only takes a few leaves. So here's the trick to keeping the leaves off of your drain. Go to your local hardware store and buy a couple of replacement grills that you would normally use for a gas grill or a charcoal grill. I like the heavy duty grills that are shown here. They're made for a gas grill. And then you buy an industrial rubber mat that you would typically see in uh, the back lines of restaurants. It's a commercial grade mat. You can see a photo of it here. It has small holes in it. It's about an inch thick and it's a very heavy duty constructed mat. Clean out the area away uh, from any debris and simply place the two metal grills down on the ground over top of the area away drain. Next, you'll simply lay the rubber mat down on top of the grills. So what you're accomplishing by doing this is that you have these grills that are now holding the rubber mat off of the concrete floor which is going to allow water to go around the outside of the rubber mat and through all the holes of the rubber mat down to the area in between the grill and the concrete. With this configuration, it is going to take many, many, many leaves. You'll literally have to cover the whole entire mat with leaves before that drain is going to get stopped up. In fact, all the years that I've had this uh, set up at my house, I've never once uh, had a situation where it even came close to causing a blockage. So I'm pretty good about keeping the leaves cleaned out of there, but if you get a few weeks where you don't have time to do it, this is going to give you some insurance against having your basement flooded. So once you get everything in place, you're gonna wanna take the garden hose and uh, turn it on full blast and just make sure everything is configured properly so you don't have a flooded basement. Make sure it's functional before you walk away from it, but I think you're gonna be very pleased with how this performs over the years.